Good morning, everyone. Well, it's a sad day in the history of the United States. Our country is in civil war. And the feds and the states now over this border issue. And we've seen it escalate more and more where one top presidential candidate is now facing multiple charges of prison and the other candidate's son is facing multiple charges of prison and the other candidate is facing corruption charges as well. Reminds me of Matthew 24 again do we need to go back there? Our culture is melting down. When you have social media promoting adultery, fornication, and cheating on videos on Facebook, multiple videos promoting cheating on spouses, you have moral decadence. Well, God is in control of all of it. And like I've said before, he's the chess player. And he checkmates every time, does he not? And we cannot deny the reality that we're living in perilous times. If you do deny it, you're living in fantasy world. When you've got governors coming against the federal government, when you've got the federal government endorsing the invasion of our country at the border, and nobody can do anything about it. When you've got a governor putting up fence and the federal government going in and threatening to tear it down, it's, it's, it's almost beyond our comprehension, is it not? Now, I'm not a preterist. I never will be a preterist. I'm not a 70 AD denier, but I'm not a 2024 denier either. <laughs> I'm into reality. Twenty four twelve because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for elect's sake those days shall be shortened. I mean, are we so blind to see, are we so blind that we can't see what's going on in our world? Our society is melting down. When you have a former president having 240 charges against him, facing 50 years or more in jail, and he is the top runner up in the Republican Party. Nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. These are the beginning of sorrows. These are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. 
And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And you're going to tell me that isn't appropriate for today? You're going to tell me that those prophecies don't apply to today? All I can say is, you're blind if you believe that. We have greater, greater immorality, fornication, adultery going on in our society than ever before. And it's being promoted by social media platforms. We have corruption at the greatest levels in our government, including our Supreme Court. We have corruption on both sides of the aisle, both the Republican and Democrat parties. Human depravity has taken an all-time low. But I have good news. We're told that when we see all these things become come to pass, look up for our redemption draweth nigh. Christ has already won the victory for his people. And even though Satan would come at us with a vengeance, he that shall endure at the end shall be saved. May the good Lord be with you today in a special way. God bless.